Wondering what waypoints are in Komoot? In this video, I'll answer that question. I'll also show you how to set waypoints to customize your routes. You'll learn how to set waypoints during planning and edit them later. And I'll give you some tips to help you get the most out of waypoints. Intrigued? Hello, my name is Ryan. I am an AI voice made by lovevoice.com. Let's start by clarifying the most important question, what are waypoints? Waypoints are the anchor points of a route. The first waypoint tells the route, you start here. The second waypoint says, come to me. Now you have a route with a start and a finish. You can set more waypoints in a route to guide its course. Again, the next waypoint tells the route, come to me. Waypoints enable individual route planning. You define the points, Komoot connects them with a route. With waypoints, you can enforce any route. Is that a helpful explanation for you? Do you have any further questions? Write them directly in the comments. Now, let's look at setting waypoints in Komoot. In Komoot, you can set waypoints using a total of three methods. The simplest and most intuitive way is to click on the map. No matter where you click, whether left or right mouse button, Komoot creates a waypoint when you confirm it with the next action. You can also click on poise or a highlight to create a waypoint. Poise are general points of interest, while the red points on the map are highlights created by Komoot users, i.e., particularly recommended places. If you want to display poise, you can activate the display of the respective group in the search field. Multiple selections are possible for the display. If you want to set a waypoint, you only have to specify which role the waypoint should play in the route. These are start, finish, or stage point. We will discuss editing waypoints in the next chapter. Before that, I'll show you the second method to create waypoints. If you've seen my video for beginners, then you already know it. In the search field, you can search for places like in Google Maps. This can be a proper name, such as the Brandenburg Gate, a restaurant, and others. Or you can enter an address directly. You can also use decimal degree coordinates for the search as you find them in Google Maps, for example. You must first convert other coordinates into decimal degree coordinates. When you select a search result for display, you can assign a role to this place in your route. This way, you can guide your route to destinations that are important to you. The third method is similar to the first. Move the cursor over the route, click the left mouse button, and hold it down. Then drag the cursor to the desired position on the map and release the mouse button. Komoot creates a waypoint that changes the route. Quick tip, keep holding the mouse button and see the preview of the route. That was easy, wasn't it? Try creating waypoints yourself. Open your route planner and play around a bit. You can easily delete this route again. You can see all set waypoints on the left in the sidebar. The first view is a shortened one. You can activate and close the complete list of waypoints here. On the map, you have the illustration of the route. Your waypoints are black circles with the waypoint number. Waypoint set using a highlighter dark red. If you move the mouse pointer over a waypoint, the name of a plan POI and highlight is displayed. Places and thus potential waypoints cannot be created without a route. For this, you have to create a highlight, which all Komoot users can then see and plan. Therefore, you cannot import POI collections from other planners. We'll look at highlights in another video. Now, I'll show you how to edit existing waypoints. First of all, you cannot change the names of the waypoints. They are numbered consecutively and inherit the name from their POI, provided you use a POI for the waypoint. If you can set waypoints, you can of course also delete them. Simply click on a waypoint on the map and then on Remove. The route is immediately recalculated. 
You can also use the list of waypoints in the sidebar to delete waypoints. Click on the trash can icon behind the waypoint. Waypoints can also be moved very easily. It works just like creating waypoints. Move the cursor over a waypoint, click and hold the left mouse button. Then drag the waypoint to another position. Here too, you can already see in the preview where the new route will lead. When you release the mouse button, the waypoint is repositioned. Just like clicking on the map to set a waypoint, you can make slight mistakes here. I'll show you how to avoid them later. What you should also avoid is that the bell is deactivated if you have already subscribed to my channel. Otherwise, you'll miss something. Just like the position on the map, you can also change the role of the waypoints. In short, you reorder them. To do this, click on Show All Waypoints in the sidebar. Now the waypoint list opens. If you don't like the course of the route, you can reorder it. This may also be necessary if you plan more waypoints and it literally messes up the order. Move the mouse pointer over the waypoints, then go over the double bar to the left of the desired waypoint. Click and hold the left mouse button. Drag the waypoint to the desired position in the list and release it. The route is recalculated and the waypoints are renumbered. This way, you can also assign a waypoint the role of a new starting point by dragging it to the very top. Try it out right away and tell me how it went. Of course, you can also edit waypoints at any time. To do this, go to Edit in your saved tour and you're back in the route planner. Changes are only applied when you save the tour again. Now I'd like to give you a few tips about waypoints. If this video has helped you so far, please share it with your friends. Because helping makes joy. Let's start with the number of waypoints. There are no official specifications for the maximum number of waypoints. You should follow the rule of thumb, as few waypoints as possible and only as many as necessary. A very high number of waypoints can slow down the route planner and in the worst case lead to a crash of the planner, losing your unsaved planning. Also, the sport profiles cannot fulfill their purpose. Remember, Komoot plans routes based on your selected sport profile. If waypoints are set too close, Komoot can no longer consider the optimal paths for your sport as well. Ultimately, the overview within a route with too many waypoints also suffers. That brings me to the next tip. Use waypoints strategically. Komoot plans the route according to the sport. It can happen that places or paths are omitted that you would like to walk or ride. Use waypoints to force these places or paths into the planning. This allows you to optimize the route to your liking. Scroll in the sidebar to the path types and surfaces to identify unwanted sections. If you don't want a section with asphalt, search for it by clicking on Asphalt to center the route on this section. If there are multiple sections with this surface, click until you are at the desired position and set waypoints to bypass or avoid this area. I'll make a video for that sometime. You can create a problem when placing a waypoint that only becomes obvious later during navigation. If you set a waypoint at a junction or fork and the waypoint is not placed cleanly, the navigation sends you in the wrong direction for a few meters and then makes you turn around again. Avoid this by using the highest possible zoom level when planning such waypoints. Even better, set the waypoint behind the junction on the path you want to turn onto. This ensures that Komoot does not send you on detours. Do you have questions about the content or have I left something out? Use the comments, I'll try to answer all questions. Was the video helpful? Then reward my effort with a thumbs up. You can find more help about Komoot, Google Maps, Garmin, and others in my channel. See you again soon. My name is Ryan, I'm an AI voice. The tutorial is written by Thomas, your outdoor tech instructor.